So the question is, can we run our type of mind on a different kind of hardware? And I suspect that uh, the present algorithms that we are using might not be ideal for this. And it might be necessary to build things that are more compatible with the way in which our minds are working. And the issue is not that, uh, whether the substrate is digital and whether it's GPUs, but uh, whether the code that runs on it is something that allows us to seamlessly translate between what happens in brains and uh, what happens in the digital substrate. And I think this requires additional research, possibly. It could be that uh, we find that the structures that we get from the LLMs and uh, other models, if we make them multimodal, ultimately are equivalent and good enough. But uh, the way in which our brains and code um, our minds work in a completely different way. And to uh, get this code to run might require that we are trying different software approaches for learning. But this is something that uh, ultimately could also be done using AGI. When you have a system that is smart enough and is better at AI research than people, uh, the question how to build a self-organizing uh, substrate architecture on top of an arbitrary substrate uh, is, is not a problem that you can also solve probably automatically using machines. When we try to understand these things, uh, we need to separate between what am I, what do I want at this point in my life, what may, may, might I want in future states of my life, and what other possibility exists, what could other minds want. And understanding this entire space, I think, is necessary if we want to understand what's going to happen. I mean, if uh, we open up the door to a different level of evolution, and uh, there are a lot of uh, existing agents say, I don't want to participate in what's behind that door. It just means that they self-select out of the evolution. And, but on the other hand, as long as they're like entropy uh, to eat, there will be tickers. There will be agents that will be happy to join into this new world and they will be the ones who populate it. And so it, it's, the question is not so much um, whether we want this, whether I want this, whether you want this. The question is, um, in a general way, is it possible? And are there agents who are going to uh, go through the store? And the other one is just a personal question that we have that might be extremely complicated and might depend on extremely complicated personal reasons. It's quite clear to me that uh, Gary Marcus or Tim Gibro have a different way than uh, Sam Altman or uh, Conor Leahy or, or Elon Musk or me or you, right? It's, uh, they, they all have very different perspective and they might even change from time to time and are highly contingent. And so the question is, is there some kind of global force that forces everybody to do the same thing? And I cannot see such a thing. There is basically very little that precludes others to take other choices uh, from the ones that you are taking or that from me are taking. So it's much more interesting to figure out what are the open trajectories and what is likely to be tried by someone. Right? It's not that there is some kind of global bottleneck, some global legislator that could uh, choose who gets access to GPUs at this point. 